Have you ever gazed at a star-studded sky and pondered the meaning of it all? Why are we here? What is our purpose in this vast, often chaotic universe? Carl Jung believed our life's purpose is a journey of self-discovery, integrating all aspects of ourselves. This video delves into Jungian philosophy, exploring the concept of the shadow and its significance in our journey of self-realization. Join us as we embark on this captivating exploration of the self, guided by the wisdom of Carl Jung. Imagine an iceberg, its peak piercing the surface, representing our conscious mind. Beneath lies the unconscious holding memories, instincts and impulses. Jung's shadow encompasses traits we've repressed, influencing our lives subtly. Embracing our shadow leads to a more authentic and fulfilling life. The shadow forms in early childhood as we repress traits deemed undesirable. These rejected parts coalesce in the unconscious, influencing our thoughts and behaviors. Understanding the origins of the shadow is the first step toward befriending it. The shadow operates beneath conscious awareness, whispering through dreams and unguarded moments. Shadow work involves exploring our unconscious mind to bring the shadow into the light. Techniques like journaling, dream analysis and active imagination help in this journey. The shadow often manifests through projection, attributing our unacceptable traits to others. Recognizing our projections is essential in shadow work. By bringing awareness to our projections, we reclaim disowned parts of ourselves. Unmasking the shadow is a journey into our unconscious, confronting hidden aspects of ourselves. Embracing the uncomfortable is where real work begins, integrating the shadow's energy. This process transforms the shadow's raw energy into strength, creativity and wisdom. Integrating the shadow is like alchemy, transforming base aspects into gold. Awareness, acceptance and action are key steps in this process. It's about making conscious choices that align with our values and aspirations. Integration is an ongoing dance, balancing light and darkness. The shadow, when acknowledged, becomes a source of creativity and wisdom. Approach this dance with curiosity, compassion and a willingness to embrace our full humanity. Knowledge without action is like a seed unplanted. True transformation comes from applying insights to our daily lives. It's about taking the wisdom from shadow work and embodying it in our actions. Creation is a powerful way to take action, tapping into a primal force within us. The shadow holds raw materials that can be transmuted into meaningful action. Embracing our shadow unlocks creative energy, fueling our passions and inspiring us to bring our unique gifts to the world. How do we begin translating insight into action, setting our souls on fire with the courage to create? Identify where we feel most stuck or disconnected from our authentic selves. These areas often hold the most to teach us. Perhaps we've always dreamed of writing a book but fear judgment, or we long for deeper connections but sabotage relationships. These are fertile grounds for transformation. Action doesn't have to be grand. It can be as simple as writing for 15 minutes each day, or reaching out to a friend or expressing creativity through a new hobby. The key is to start somewhere, to take that first step. Each act of courage chips away at the walls around our hearts, allowing more light, love and creativity to flow into our lives. Fear. It's a primal instinct, a surge of adrenaline designed to protect us from danger. We've all felt its grip, the racing heart, the quickened breath. Fear can be a lifesaver, but it can also be a formidable obstacle. Think about a time when fear held you back from pursuing a dream. Maybe it was the fear of failure or rejection or the fear of the unknown that kept you rooted in place. We all have these inner voices, these whispers of doubt. Jung believed fear points us toward our deepest desires and meaningful work. He saw fear as a guidepost, a compass for growth and transformation. 
Instead of viewing fear as an enemy to be conquered, what if we embraced it as a wise teacher, a guide on our journey of self-discovery? What if we dared to ask ourselves, what is this fear trying to tell me? What is it pointing me toward? The answers to these questions can be profoundly illuminating, revealing hidden desires, unexamined beliefs, and unlived potential. Imagine a woman who's always dreamt of starting her own business but has been paralyzed by the fear of failure. She envisions her business failing, her finances crumbling and her dreams turning to dust. This fear keeps her stuck in a job that drains her spirit, her entrepreneurial aspirations relegated to the realm of someday. Now imagine this woman choosing to befriend her fear to lean into the discomfort and explore the stories she's telling herself. She asks herself, what if my business doesn't succeed right away? What if I encounter obstacles and setbacks? As she delves deeper, she realizes that her fear of failure is rooted in a fear of not being good enough a belief she's carried with her since childhood. By acknowledging this underlying belief, she can begin to challenge it, to replace it with a more empowering narrative. She can start to view setbacks and failures not as evidence of her inadequacy, but as opportunities for growth, learning and refinement. Dancing with the unknown, embracing fear doesn't mean becoming fearless, it's about befriending our fears, acknowledging their presence and choosing to move forward despite them. It's about developing a willingness to dance with the unknown, to embrace uncertainty as an inherent part of the human experience. When we cling to certainty, we limit our potential for growth and transformation. We stay small, playing it safe, afraid to venture beyond the confines of our comfort zones. But when we loosen our grip on how we think things should be, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities. Think of it this way, life is like a river, constantly flowing, changing and evolving. If we try to build a dam across the river to control its flow and force it to conform to our will, we create stagnation. The water becomes murky and the life force within it diminishes. However, if we allow ourselves to flow with the river, to embrace its twists and turns, its rapids and its calm pools, we open ourselves to adventure, to discovery and to the exhilarating beauty of the unknown. This doesn't mean we have to navigate the river blindly. We can still use our minds to assess risk, to plan our course, and to make informed decisions. But we do so with a spirit of openness, curiosity, and a willingness to adapt to whatever unfolds along the way. The inevitability of storms. Life is a tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, triumph and hardship. To crave only the bright moments is to deny the essence of being human. It's like gazing at a landscape but refusing to acknowledge the shadows. Just as a garden needs both sunshine and rain, our lives require a balance of light and darkness. We may try to outrun the storms or build walls to keep them at bay, but hardships are an inevitable part of the human experience. What if, instead of resisting the storms, we learn to dance in the rain? Finding gold in the darkness. Imagine a lump of coal buried deep within the earth. It's dark, rough and seemingly insignificant, but under intense heat and pressure over time, that lump of coal undergoes a remarkable transformation. It becomes a diamond, a brilliant stone that reflects light in a thousand dazzling facets. Our own struggles, while often painful and challenging, can also be seen as opportunities for transformation. Just as the coal needs heat and pressure to become a diamond, so too do we need to face adversity to discover our inner strength, resilience and wisdom. Think of a time when you faced a significant challenge, a loss, a setback, a period of uncertainty. Perhaps at the time it felt like the world was falling apart, like you'd never recover. But as you moved through the darkness, as you grieved, healed and slowly began to rebuild, you likely discovered a strength and resilience you didn't know you possessed. You may have emerged from the experience with a newfound appreciation for life, a deeper understanding of yourself, or a stronger connection to your values and purpose. These are the diamonds forged in the fires of our struggles. The compassion, the empathy, the gratitude, the wisdom, qualities that can't be developed through ease and comfort alone. There's a Japanese aesthetic philosophy called wabi-sabi that embraces the beauty of imperfection, impermanence and incompleteness. 
It finds beauty in the cracks and crevices of an old ceramic bowl, the weathered texture of a wooden beam, the fleeting beauty of a cherry blossom in full bloom. Wabi-sabi invites us to shift our perspective, to see beauty not just in what is perfect and polished, but also in what is raw, imperfect and impermanent. It's about finding acceptance and even reverence for the natural cycles of life, death and renewal. Applying this philosophy to our own lives, we can begin to embrace our imperfections, our flaws and our struggles not as something to be hidden or ashamed of, but as integral parts of what makes us unique and whole. We can learn to appreciate the fleeting nature of life, the impermanence of all things, and find beauty in the unfolding tapestry of our experiences, both light and dark. As Leonard Cohen so eloquently wrote, there is a crack in everything, that's how the light gets in. It's through these cracks, these imperfections, these moments of darkness, that we discover our true strength, our capacity for love, and the profound beauty of being human. As we conclude this exploration of Carl Jung's profound insights, remember that the journey of self-discovery is an ongoing process, an ever-unfolding adventure. It's a dance between light and shadow, integrating our conscious and unconscious selves. Embracing our shadow selves is about integrating all aspects of ourselves to live authentically. Action connects insight to transformation, take risks and pursue passions with courage. Fear, when embraced, can lead to growth and fulfillment. Accept the bad and embrace challenges to discover true strength and resilience. As we move forward, carry these key takeaways. Integrate your shadow, act on insights, and embrace fear as a guidepost. Embrace challenges for profound growth and self-discovery. The journey is about embracing the fullness of our humanity and finding meaning in life's tapestry. One of the most profound takeaways from Jung's teachings is the understanding that wholeness does not equate to perfection. It's not about eradicating our flaws or striving to become someone we're not. True wholeness encompasses all aspects of ourselves, the light and the shadow, the strengths and the vulnerabilities, the beauty and the messiness that make us uniquely human. Embracing our shadow selves requires immense courage. It means confronting the parts of ourselves we've long tried to deny or suppress, the anger, the fear, the shame, the insecurity. It means acknowledging the ways in which these hidden aspects have shaped our thoughts, feelings and behaviors, often leading us down paths we'd rather forget. But here's the paradox. In the very act of embracing our perceived darkness, we open ourselves to a depth of compassion, creativity and wisdom we never knew we possessed. Those shadow aspects, once seen as sources of shame or limitation, can become powerful catalysts for growth and transformation. Think of it this way. Imagine a garden where only the most delicate, perfectly formed flowers are allowed to bloom. While initially pleasing to the eye, this garden would lack the vibrancy, resilience and diversity of a natural ecosystem. It's in the interplay of light and shadow, of delicate blossoms and sturdy vines that true beauty and abundance emerge. The journey of integrating our shadow selves is not about achieving a static state of perfection, but rather about engaging in a dynamic dance. A delicate balance between embracing our light and acknowledging our darkness. It's about recognizing that both are essential notes in the symphony of our being, each contributing to the richness and complexity of the music we create. As we continue on this path of self-discovery, let us remember that life itself is a journey, not a destination. There will be moments of triumph and moments of despair, times when we feel lost and uncertain, and times when we feel deeply connected to our purpose and passions. The key is to stay present throughout the journey, to embrace each experience, the good, the bad and the messy, as an opportunity for growth and learning. It's about cultivating a deep sense of self-compassion, recognizing that we are all works in progress, always evolving, always becoming. And as we move forward, let us remember the words of Carl Jung, who so wisely said, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. May we all have the courage to embrace the fullness of our being, shadows and all, and to live our lives as authentically and purposefully as we can.